Thanks. I think we're right on time. When the pandemic hit in 2020, millions of face masks were urgently needed. The government has secured an additional 54 million masks. The federal government gave PPE contracts worth $1.1 billion to Aspen Medical, a Canberra company with blue chip political connections. The company's former chairman and co-founder, Andrew Walker, has told Four Corners he was shocked Aspen Medical got those contracts. Oh, we'd never done that before. It had never procured face masks? Never. Mr Walker left Aspen Medical in 2019 and is now locked in litigation with the company's owner. Four Corners has obtained a letter of commendation written and signed by Health Minister Greg Hunt in late February 2020, which describes Aspen Medical as... A world-recognised nationally awarded company. And... A trusted supplier of health services to the Australian government. Greg Hunt's letter was undated and addressed to whom it may concern. It's extraordinarily un unusual and, in fact, dangerous for a minister, or in fact for a public servant, to actually have any contact, any engagement, and certainly to write a letter of this kind. In a statement, Mr Hunt's office said the letter was... Written to support Aspen Medical in tendering for work in the United States and is appropriate. It said... The minister was not involved in any purchasing recommendations, assessments, approvals, contract negotiations or decisions. Aspen Medical told the ABC it was well positioned for the PPE contracts it received because of its previous clinical work in Australia and overseas. Elsewhere in the world, Aspen Medical has become embroiled in a criminal investigation into corruption and money laundering. Sri Lankan police discovered payments now worth $2 million to a mysterious British Virgin Islands company. I'm really shocked at it, that a thing like this should have happened. I thought even in Australia there will be checks and balances, right? In a statement, Aspen Medical said it had not been approached by any government agency or court of law and would support any such inquiry. It said its values would preclude it from working with corrupt organisations. Linton Besser, ABC News.